when I'm reading about you and, and like things that Coach Anderson said, that one of the first things that he, he says is, is energy and, and the energy you bring. What, what kind of ways do you try to bring energy every single day? Kind of got a bounce to my step a little bit. I'm excited to be here. And uh, it's just kind of the way I always went about things, the way I played as a player on the court. I just I brought energy every day to the locker room, to the court. And so I kind of try to apply it to, to my work life as well and bring energy to the office and on the court with the guys as well so they can kind of feed off me, you know. Where's that energy come from? Uh, I just think it's the, the, you know, born with it a little bit. You know, my mom is very energetic and the household I grew up in is a real energetic household. So I think I just naturally have it. It's just kind of something I've always had. What excites you about coaching in the SEC? Um, the possibility of getting Missouri back towards the top of college basketball and, and kind of being a part of what Coach Anderson and what the staff have already started to turn around here. And so just the possibility of getting Missouri back where it belongs at the top at the, at the top of college basketball. What are your memories uh, mentioned in your biography that you, you spent some time growing up in the state of Missouri? I was here for a couple of years in, in Marshall, Missouri. And uh, you know I just remember watching Missouri games on TV with my dad, who was a college basketball coach, and watching Anthony Peeler and some of those guys. You know I don't know it was a little further back, but some of those guys when they really had it rolling around here. Uh, you spent uh, the beginning of your coaching career at the mid-major level, and what lessons did you learn there that you like to carry with you? Well, uh, I was telling someone yesterday just the, the, the grind of it, the, the, the hard work, and a lot of, you know, coming up the ranks in junior college and at the mid-major level, you don't have as much help, so, you know, you got to be hands-on with everything if that means, you know, sweeping the floor, mopping the floor, whatever it is, it, no job is too small, and so just the grind and the hard work, um, you know, kind of coming up the ranks, I, I hope I can continue to do that here fits in pretty well with the, the blue collar yes. work ethic Coach Anderson's instilling. Yes, it has, yeah, exactly, exactly. So, and yeah, I, I think it fits perfectly. I met Coach Anderson you know, early on in my career and saw what type of guy he was. And so I think our personalities and our and same beliefs and, and, and values kind of match. You were a pretty good player at, at Eastern Illinois also in, in your, your, your playing days. And um, how does that help you in, in your coaching career, having been a player at the college level? Well, I wish I was a little bit better, but uh, no, I mean, it's, it's, it's good. I was a point guard, and so I saw the game from a lot of different angles, and I was able to kind of, you know, read people and deal with people well, uh, being in a leadership role. So I think that helps as far as, you know, my interactions with the players on a day-to-day -day basis as a coach. When you look at this Missouri program that you've recently joined, what really excites you about the, the program today and, and the direction it's headed in? Uh, just the, the type of guys, the, the, just for me, for the last couple of weeks, being around the guys, um, the positive attitude, the hard working attitude that the guys have, seem like high character kids. Um, I, I always look forward to working with high character, good young men, and then just the staff that Coach Anderson's put together. It's a very positive staff and all just willing to work and get, get the program going back the right way.